today I'm here with a new video and this video I think is like the hardest video I have ever made. I am going to rank all the palettes I bought last year and I know it's so soon <laughs> July and I just wanted to use all the palettes like more than once and test them out and like really see which one I use the most. So that's why this video comes now and also because this is fucking hard. <laughs> so I have bought a lot of palettes last year even though I was on a low buy. I bought these many palettes. I like don't even want to count them right now. So I'm going to rank these and yeah. And I don't think any of these palettes are bad. I'm going to talk a little bit about why I rank them lower or higher. So I will just scooch so I can show you the palettes and then we just get started. The palette that is in the bottom is Killer Pearl, Pearl from Menagerie. And why this is in the bottom is because I wouldn't have bought this if it wasn't Menagerie. I like the colors but it's nothing like special with it that is that special that I want to play with it. Maybe if I wore makeup like every day maybe I would use this more but I just... no. It is good but I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't Monday and I'm not like that fan of this palette. Next up is the Orb of Light from Black Moon Cosmetics. This is an amazing formula. It's just that I hate the plastic packaging and the palette looks like this. The shades are so good. They are really like creamy and easy to blend and so easy to work with. But it's nothing... It's the same with the Killer Pearl. It's nothing that I want to pick out to play with. And... I really love like this red and this orange and this like grungy yellow. It is really really nice colors and they are really good. But I'm not reaching for this. Like it, but not reaching for it. Okay, so this is a little bit strange. I was just editing this video and I was like, I forgot two palettes. So I am doing the rankings of these two now. So I will hop in two times with this makeup. So, next up, I ranked the Enchanted, Enchanted Mistress from Linda Holberg. It looks like this. This shade is so, so cool. It is a duochrome. I don't ever think that I can... Maybe if I do like this. It goes from green to purple. I really like these. I think they are cool but it's not something that I pick out so often. I like never use them on my channel. How can I show it? I really like those. They are kind of expensive and they are really good but it's nothing that I use that much so this is why I rank it pretty low. Next up is the Melt Love Six Stack, and I really like this. This is four shades. I took the wrong stack. This is the Love Six Stack, and it's four shades in this. And I think these are really, really good. And the shimmer one, it's amazing. And this color is so nice. But it's not just, yes, it's just like this, I think this is pretty cool, like their melt. I don't think they do stacks anymore, I have no idea. I think the stack idea is really cool, but it's not like, I'm not picking out this and like go through them just to find the shade. I just don't really like it. I'm thinking about, I know that Jessica, she has them in like a palette instead. I'm thinking about that because I think I would use it more because I don't... I love this, but I don't like it at the same time. And I don't know what to say between all the palettes, but next in place is the Spectral palette from Linda Holberg. I thought I was going to use this so much more than I have done. It looks like this. I love this abstract shade. And I really love Linda Holberg's makeup. 
I love the palettes. I have all of the palettes. But it's nothing that I use more for than like my face. I don't use this for my face, but I actually think about using this as a blush palette, some of them, because I think this looks like the fairy blushes from Likely Makeup. Nothing to do with this, but I really like it, but I'm not picking out, and this was pretty expensive because they have expensive products. Then we have a palette that I, I, I like this so much, but it's like I have other palettes that I like more, and it's the Nabla Dreamy 2. I think I would rank this higher if I have played with it more, I just haven't. It looks like this. I really love the packaging. One thing that makes me a little bit like I don't like this so much is it doesn't have a big variety of matte shades. It's only like three mattes and it's <laughs> this light one, this one that is so so good and this one. And there's no more mattes. It has some other shades that you can work as a matte but it's not like more mattes. So I think this is like good to have together with maybe the dreamy one palette. But it's nothing like I feel it's a standalone palette. At least not for me because I want some more variety of mattes. It's a really good palette. I really really like it. But I would wish for more mattes. But the packaging of this one. So good. Then I have two palettes that are in the same place, kind of, and it is more from Melt. It's the Vida and Muerte palette, and I, this is one of the best packaging, I think. If we start with the Vida palette, it looks like this. I really love the color story. It's like really me, even though it has some browns here in the middle. I really, really am a fan of this palette. Why I didn't rank it higher was because of uh, this one. It's so hard to work with this shimmer shade. And Melt is an expensive brand. And like in every palette they do, it feels like it's at least one bad shimmer. This is like hard pan after like you dipped in my brush once. And for a palette that costs as much as this do, and one shade gets hard pan. It rubs me the wrong way. But I love everything else about it. So it's the same with the Muerte palette. I think though this is better. I didn't experience like hard pan as in the other. But I feel with this one like these are so similar um, tones. But... I don't know. I think I just need to take this out more and play with it because it's a really cool palette. Okay, and it's now it was so hard because like all the palettes I left I really like. But next up we have the Secret Palette from Nabla. This is one of Nabla's palettes with an amazing formula. It looks like this. I think this is a really nice everyday palette with a twist. I, I don't know why I say that like an everyday palette because I don't use makeup every day. It is a really good palette and it feels like a lot of people were a little bit angry with Nabla when this came out because it came after Poison Garden I think. And I think that people thought that it's like it's the same formula as the Poison Garden. It's not. Uh, this is so so good. And I think more people should use this because it is a fun palette actually. And maybe I should have ranked this higher. But no. I've been sitting here for a while. Then we have more Nabla. One of the cutie palettes. And this is the cutie palette Nude. This is such a good palette. Such a cute little fun palette. It is actually pretty fun even though it looks like this. It has an amazing formula in this one. I think when it came out with, I think I get her on my nose. I think when they came out with the cute palettes, they tested out new formulas. This is so, so good. It's just maybe I wished for something more, but it's a really, really nice palette. Then I have two palettes that I rank the same and for 
ranking them pretty low for the same reason. And there is Orange You Glad and Aha uh Honey from Colourpop. And why I used, why I ranked them at same is because they have a pressed glitter. The middle shade here in Orange You Glad is a pressed glitter. And this is only a 9 pan palette with a pressed glitter. I don't think that is a good idea. I just don't. And it's the same thing with the Aha Honey. The middle shade is a pressed glitter. I like it, but I think it's a waste of space. Because a lot of people doesn't want to use pressed glitter. So I think it's a waste of space in a 9 pan palette. And also I don't think these are pretty fun and I love orange and I love yellow but I don't think they are so much fun. Another small palette. The cutie palette Coral. Coral from Nabla. This looks like this. I love this palette. I love the red shape color of course. I really liked it. I think that Nabla has done an amazing job with these cute palettes. They are small, they are cute, they are super good forma and everything. But it just... I think I feel pretty like... I don't have that many options with only six pan palettes. It's a really good palette, but me, myself and I like more options than this. Next in the ranking is Divinity from Strobe. Shroud. <laughs> it looks like this. I really love this palette. I don't use it that much. I don't know why, but it feels like this is a palette from Shroud that didn't get so much attention. It was the first palette where I tried their shimmer form, shimmer shades, like this purple one and this one that is amazing as a highlighter. It's a really good palette. I think it's a grungy palette for beginners. Really good palette. Really, really, really like it. And now we are coming into some of my favorite palettes and it's now I, I don't know if I made the right choices. This is what I feel now. So, SPT Flare Palette. And now you don't know like in which order I am. So it looks like this. I really really like this. I can't say the same thing about all the palettes. I don't know why I didn't rank this higher. Maybe because I love some of the palettes more. This is a really good palette. I have only tested like these kinds of palettes from ASPJ. I think the formula is really good. I like the variety of shades in this one. I have nothing to complain about at all. Okay, so now I am here with the other palette I've got. And I don't know how I could forget about this because I really like it. It's the Just My Luck from Colourpop. This I like much more than Orange Chocolate and Aha uh -huh Honey because this hasn't got a pressed glitter. And these two shades are amazing. And also this I really like. And why I ranked this pretty high is because I think it is monochromatic green. But it's not only green, like typical green. Maybe that sounds a little bit strange, but I think it has a lot of depth, 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 deep. It's a deep palette, uh, depth. You get what I mean? I really like this. I think you can do a lot of different looks. You can do like a light green, you can do a darker green, you can do something that has an undertone of green, but it's not like your typical green look. So this is why I rank this kind of high this was like one of the things when I started to like green last year yes I said it so just my luck from Colourpop then we're coming in to one little group and it is the first group of Kaleidos and I ranked these three at the same place if I'm going to choose I, I can't like I love these palettes from Kaleidos so the Cyber Bronze, I love this mostly because of this red and this silver. It's such a nice palette. I love everything about this. I love the form of the palette. I love like the shape. It's the same as the form. <laughs> I love the quality of the shadows. 
then I actually think I would rank Astro Pink. It looks like this. I feel that like these two shades are too similar in the six pan eyeshadow palette. This shade is amazing. I'm gonna see if I can catch the duochrome for you. I don't know, but it's like purple and blue. Can I catch it in here? I don't know. Really love it. Amazing formula. And then the Electro Turquoise. Looks like this. I think this is the one that I've used the least from Kaleidos. But I really like it. I don't like the brown up here that much, but other than that, it's a really good palette. Next in place is the palette with the absolute best packaging of last year for me, and it's the Moonspell by Lunar Beauty. I know that a lot of people love this palette. And it looks like this. This was the first palette I tested out from Lunar Beauty. A part of me really love this, like this is the purple row, this is the neutral row and this is more like the green and blue or maybe just the green row. I love that. That is like, it's some part of me that I like when palettes are like this. I think this is a really good palette, I think you can do a lot of fun looks with this. And the packaging is just amazing. They are doing the best packaging out there, I think. Next up, Blue Moon from Colourpop. And yes, I rank this highest of my um, monochromatic palettes. One thing I don't like about this, I know it's only mine, but like the magnet behind is not that good, so it's getting loose on the edges. It looks like this. This like made me really love blue eyeshadows. I think this is a really good palette. It has varieties of blues and this is more fun than Orange You Glad and Aha Honey in my eyes because this has more variety and no pressed glitter. Then a palette I did myself, Lethal. I tested out Lethal for the first time last year. I love them. These were the first shades I bought and these are so, so good. They are just an amazing brand, do amazing shades. If you haven't tested out Lethal, you need to. That's all I can say, you need to test out Lethal. Then we go into some more blue and the Whale Song palette. This palette, last year was really like the year I discovered blue and green. It looks like this. This is one of my absolute favorite green and blue palettes. I think this is so good. It's so fun. It has some grunge to it. It has really good shimmers. It's not like a hard palette to do looks with. Even though if you're not used to use green or blue, I think this is just... It's so pleasing. And then we're going to... The Tribe. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes from Uvias ever. It looks like this. I I just love this. This is so so good. Like this Curla is one of my absolute favorite shades I have in my collection. And I really think Tribe, Tribe, Uvias Place did an amazing job with this one. This is such a good palette. It's grungy, it's green, it's orange, it's everything I want. Now we only have four left. <laughs> this was like the hardest for me. So in fourth place, Ace Beauté Oceanic Palette. It feels like I talk about this a lot. This is absolutely, if you're going to buy one blue and green palette, it should be this one. This is amazing. This Anemone shade is one of my absolute favorite shades ever. And the dark blue in this are so good. Everything in this palette is so, so good. And I think everybody that love green and blue should own this, even if you don't try it, <laughs> because this is an amazing palette. Okay, in third place. Kaleidos Sci-Fi Green. This palette, 
looks like this has one of the absolute best black in my collection and these two shimmers they have a special place in my heart I think this is one of the best palettes from Kaleidos and the runner-up is a Kaleidos palette this is VR Neon this palette is amazing the two shimmers in this one it's just these shimmers you know you want to slap all over your lid and just have that shimmer this is so so good I love the red one in this and I love the orange and the yellow is really good and this green as well I love the packaging I love the colors this is like what I love most about this is it's no unnecessary shades I think in all of the other palettes from Kaleidos, it's one shade that I can switch out. In this, I don't want to switch out any of the shades. And the winner of last year is the Arcana palette from Shroud. I have some of the shades on, from this on today. It looks like this. This is a grungy dream. I love this palette so, so much. I love this gold shade. It's amazing and all the shimmers are just a dream to work with i think they are some of the best shimmers i've ever worked with and it's just it's amazing i have this one in my halo today this is just such a good palette i am so happy that i bought it i love shroud as a brand and this is like the grunchiness I want. And yeah, it feels like I've been talking like forever. I really hope you like this video. I hope I have made the right choices. I think it's always so hard with a ranking palette thing because I love all the palettes and because I had a low buy last year, I was really like thinking about do I really want this palette? I'm going to use it or not. So it feels like if I'm going to do rankings of the palettes I bought this year, I don't think it would be as hard as it was ranking this palette. I didn't bought all of these palettes. I got the VR Neon and the Electro Turquoise in PR from Kaleidos. But all the other palettes I bought myself. Or did I get any? No, I bought them by myself. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. And if you want me to do a ranking of like my purchase the, ho the first six months of this year, let me know and I will do it. So yeah, I really hope you liked this and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!